Doctor, are you in? Yes. The specimen is awake. I need you to come in. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay, thank you. It's an interesting creature, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. Yes, it is. And what do you know so far about it? I believe they exhibit a cooler temperature within their um, body cavity. Mm -hmm. And as I am going through um, my inspection of them and um, as I'm Going through the exercise of the flashcards, I do notice at times they exhibit um, a certain degree of hostility. Yes. And I, yes. And I'm trying to pinpoint the exact source of it. Okay. May I see? I recommend further inspection and examination. Okay. Very well. So. And how long were they sedated? Five hours. There were brief periods where it seemed like they were in a limbo between sleeping and waking, but um, mm -hmm. they fell right back into sedation. Oh, sleep. So a weak creature. Yes, they do appear to be in a weakened state. Mm -hmm. Luckily. Okay. The eyes are rather large and yet don't seem to react too much to the light. Reaction seems slow. Note that it could be after effects of the sedation or possible. Yeah, or we may just have to check for slow reflexes. Okay. Now, what appears to be the no. Hmm. We'll have to investigate that further. Maybe some surgery, just to dissect what's going on there. Yes. Hmm. And there seems to be no tongue in this creature. Very strange. Yeah. So I want to dissect further how it's able to produce the sound that it does. I will have to um, study that further once I perform the flashcard exercise here. Mm. And have you been able to do that so far? Um. There has been um, moderate success, though I would like to run through the um, the Hugh collection okay. um, to practice um, the color spectrum of the English language with them. Okay. See if I can make any further progress. All right. One second, I'm going to check their ears.
seems sensitive to the clicking of the light. Hearing seems to be pretty impressive. All right. Noting that. All in all, so far, I'm not super impressed. I've only seen one other of their kind, and they were a little more impressive. Shim can't get another specimen. With all these talks on the internet of a raid, it'd be rather hard right now to obtain a new, more impressive specimen. Agreed. This one will just have to do. Yes. Okay. Well. Let's see. Were you able to figure out if it has some kind of heart or what controls its body and functions? Maybe a brain of any sort? I located um, an unusual protrusion in their chest cavity. Um, mm -hmm. It might be something with the exoskeleton that is a bit um, unusual for compared to our species, of course. I okay. want to investigate further. Okay, we're at the sound check. Yes. Stand by. Okay. Okay, getting room tone. And... Okay. I hear what you were hearing. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is a little bit different than a heartbeat, but it does seem to be irregular as well. We'll want to look into that. Would you say it's um, slower in pace or a bit um, quicker than the usual human heart rate? Definitely slower than the usual heart rate. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and it was running really sensitive to sound, so I'd like to check how it responds to some more stimulation. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a whack and we'll see how it responds to each ear. See how it twitches. It seems sensitive to certain frequencies. Yes, I do see. Yeah. One more time, just as a control test. Last one. Okay. Very good. You were able to get that down. Yes. Have you noticed any responses to sound in the past? They seem more akin to the quieter frequencies, um, mm -hmm. softer noises. Okay. Seems to help um, further lengthen their sedation, especially. Okay. How have their reflexes been? Um, somewhat normal, I would say. Okay. Let's go ahead and test because. 
Earlier when I came in, I was not impressed with the slow reflexes. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a whack here. Hmm. About a millisecond off. Let's see. At least compared to hmm, the more impressive specimen of this creature. So you've had more exceptional results before? Yes, quite. Okay. Let's check the leg region. Well, that was a bit more impressive. And the other side here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we'll have to do some more genetic testing. I'd like to know how their DNA is encoded and more about them and their genetics. So, let's go ahead and get a sample. Scalpel. Thank you. So, this is going to be some sensitive matter that we're dealing with. Yes. So go ahead and put on some gloves for me, so we can make sure there's no contamination. And since the specimen is rather hostile, I'll make sure the restraints are tight. Alright, noted. Before we get started in taking a specimen, I'm going to go ahead and have you give them a little bit of gas, just to make sure we're extra safe. Okay. Here, I'll hold the clipboard. Alright, applying sedation gas to specimen number. One six four zero eight. Do you have the glass bottle? Yes, doctor. Okay. So we'll have to move quickly. Here we go. I'm going to get two. One from the face and one from the arm region. Yes, doctor. Make sure we're done to get that noted. Yes. Okay. And I'm just going to make a small cut right about here. It seems that the head exoskeleton is a little more tough than the flesh around the body. 
Hmm. I see. It's interesting. It makes me wonder if this is a male or female version of this alien. That is something we should study further and uh, okay. contemplate. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. Here's your clipboard. And I'll write down the additional notes of the samples we have taken. Mm -hmm. And the note about the head. And what's the internal core temperature of this creature? I would say, strangely, um, lower than your standard room temperature. I measure, I have measured before, temperatures exceeding um, no more than. 65 degrees Perfect. Really? Yes. Very interesting Which of course is quite unusual Do we know what kind of planet or climate that they come from? Or do we have any idea of where they might come from? I suspect um, they may be beyond our solar system mm -hmm. Maybe one of the uh, other Earth-like planets beyond our typical um, planetary range that I we see. have known before. I think we might have to contact NASA and um, recommend that we send out a shuttle to explore such planets, of course, um, to confirm that hypothesis. Right. We can tell the news that we're just doing a space shuttle test. Yes. Of course, all the flight tests. Right. May I see the chart? Yes, Doctor. I'm just curious where we picked this specimen up from. I think from what I remember, it was in Florida. You see that? Close to NASA's base. Yes, actually. It's yep. quite peculiar and quite hidden. It looks like they couldn't even find the spacecraft of where this creature came from. Might have landed in the ocean. Possibly. It looks like they found them in the woods. Mm -hmm. hmm. I assume after they had somehow washed ashore and perhaps explored um, a bit yeah. further. I it don't know how they've gone undetected for so long. It looks like they do have impressive healing capabilities, because it says on their chart that they were quite wounded. Faster healing regeneration. Fascinating. That just means we'll have to test that. What about the areas where you have taken the specimen? Have the wounds healed? They've seemed to have healed quicker than usual, but we should probably still sew them up for now. I see. Yes, I do. Oh. See what you mean? Yes, you see that there. Yes. A lot quicker than a human would be, but as I've mentioned before, this creature isn't as impressive as the last one in its species. Right. Though, I'd be more than happy to test their healing capabilities with our next few tests. I agree. We can do some dissection, maybe they'll grow some new limbs. I'll note for that testing. Yes, the regrowing of limbs would further confirm our suspicions of quickened healing regeneration. Would be important to study further, especially for um, humankind's causes. Um, like stem cells. Okay. Let's sew that. We don't need it to die just yet. Yes, agreed. Eventually, but not yet. Okay.
right, let's start with the face. And... Two... Three... deeper wound. I see. So, it seems that the fleshier part of the bodies respond quicker to the healing properties than the exoskeleton around the head. Fascinating. Indeed, very fascinating. Mm. Okay. Quite unusual and peculiar indeed. I'd like to take a look at that further. Perhaps there's a sensitivity within the, um, Layer. The inner muscle. Perhaps it's a protective mechanism. I could see that. The head being stronger with the exoskeleton around it to protect whatever feeble mind it has up there. Mm. Whereas the regenerative, regenerative properties in the fleshy parts of the body respond to wounds quickly so they don't have to deal with infection. See, I do believe, based on my um, previous flashcard testing, that they do exhibit um, a moderate degree of intelligence for certain. Moderate's being polite. Yes, um, well, I suppose it's, um, I suppose I should not hold such promise in their potential. It's okay. I used to think like you once. Work here long enough. Okay. Let's go ahead and get its measurements. Have you noticed any change in growth or anything in this specimen as of late? I detected um, about every week they seem to Grow about one and a half inches. Okay. On average, sometimes anywhere between that and three inches. I wonder if we have a younger specimen still in the process of growth. Perhaps they are. Uh, yes, um, perhaps they are still in their juvenile stages. Yeah. Get the circumference of the head. Right. We're looking at about fifteen inches. Fifteen inches. Mm-hmm. And what was last recorded measurement? Uh, a little under fourteen. I see. Thirteen and two thirds. Okay. Mm -hmm. It does seem like they're still growing. Slightly. Around the neck, yes. we have about 12 inches. 12 inches. Yeah. And I believe I noted before I was um, measuring at about eleven and a half, so only half. Okay. Half of an inch. All right. I was showing about six inches between what I believe are the eyes. So. Oh. All right. 
believe they were um, one inch less before, a week prior. Got it. I'm going to go ahead and get the limbs. One second. I do notice their lower limbs seem to have perhaps gotten um, longer than usual. Yes. Hmm. For this, I'm going to switch to feet. They have rather long limbs. One second. It looks like we're looking at four feet. I see, four feet. For the first arm. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other side here. It is symmetrical, another four feet. Well, that's at least something. Four feet. All right, the leg. We're looking at five feet. I see. Strangely, it was um, nearly four feet before. This creature grows in length at an alarming rate. It's and something we should perhaps take into account for security. Yes. Another five feet. of this creature's temperament besides hostile? Um, as long as we keep them sedated, they do seem to be in a very placid, uh, calm demeanor. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, especially, uh, I would say, late at night. Um, they seem to share that similarity with us where they do like to rest during the late hours of the day cycle. Okay. Um, I was able to at least understand somewhat um, when I questioned them, uh, questioned them of it um, after following a number of um, flashcard exercises. Mm. Okay. To help with their language development. As far as their appearance goes, I am aware and I have seen their exoskeleton from the last specimen, but this one is slightly in different hue than the last one. The last one was more of a grayish color, yes. and this one seems to be more cool toned in blue. Yes, perhaps like a steel blue. I'm wondering if this is due to the juvenile state. Mm -hmm. The last one I had was older. Perhaps juveniles exhibit um, more of a hue to their skin tone. Mm -hmm. And as they get older, they take on their gray form. I could see that. Alright, well. As far as I can tell, this creature is not matured enough. But we can test its intelligence more. Yes. You said you've been working with flashcards. Yes, Doctor. All right, go ahead and show me what you've been working with. I can take the clipboard. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Doctor. Um, I did notice a range of hostility when I was going over this latest flashcard exercise. Hostility? Yes. Um, I'm just going to repeat the same pattern. And you want me to notice when they go hostile? Yes. Very well. To see if the same pattern repeats again. Okay. Um, wake up. Eyes on me. Very good. We're going to go through the color spectrum again of the colors. 
eyes off me. Very good. Blue. Repeat that word back to me. Good. Okay. They show um, more of a tranquil state at the moment. Yes. Response is fine. Yes. Purple. Noticing a hint of agitation. Slight, very Just slight. In their movements. Um, I want to note that down. Noted. Yes. Say yellow. They're not co co cooperating. Cooperation. Okay. If my hypothesis is correct, this will complete the hostile stage. Okay. Red. Red. Okay. No, I, I see. Yeah. The anger is Spec decreasing. Specimen increasing. seems to have a reaction to warmer hues, it would appear. Yes, it does seem so. It could coordinate with their cooler um, skin tone. That they exhibit, um, perhaps it has something to do with their age, the, um, the theory that they are a juvenile specimen. We haven't run this test on the older specimen. Not yet. Not yet. We will have to. Here's your clipboard. Thank you, Doctor. I see. Okay. It's very hard. And how were you able to calm it down last time? I had to gas him further. There's no other option. More sedation. More sedation, yes. I highly recommend that right now. I see this creature may be a lost cause. I think so. Perhaps we can consider locking them away for some years until their gray skin. Um, you have a big heart, but you know what we do when specimens are lost causes here. You're going to have to learn to separate your emotions from the job. I suppose I could practice, um, practice having a more jaded mind. Do you hear that? Yes, I do. Oh no. Red. Lots of red. Okay. We'll have to sedate them. Yes, Dr. Syringe, quickly. Yes, Dr. We can't let anyone find them. Okay. We'll have to lock down the doors. Hurry up, let's see. Here we go. Hold still. Alright. Now let's get out of here to a safe place. Security breach. Security breach. Security breach. Security breach.